Hello there. Welcome to Tunisia's Locks Beauty Tips and Potpourri. Today I'm going to show you how to repair a hole in your lock. There may be many reasons why you may have a hole in your lock or you may need to make an adjustment to your lock. I've had my locks for over seven and a half years but because of some of the modifications I've made to get rid of fat ends and to deal with bulging, I still occasionally need to close a hole or to move hair. Even when you're new to your lock journey, oftentimes, especially when, um, let's say you have short hair and your locks begin to slip or unravel. And when you go back to see your loctician, all she does is tighten up here at the base, but your ends are still open personally me i think that leads to a sloppy looking lock once it actually locks you have more fuzz and you have a more matted look rather than seeing more of the pattern that will continue to persist when you have locks so for me what i do is i'll go into wherever the repair needs to be now most of you guys who follow my channel know i like open ends so i keep my ends open this is for demonstration purposes and again uh, I don't need to say that this is a disclaimer, although I'll say it anyway. We're all adults here. Whatever it is you decide to do with your hair is on you, okay? So, you know, take appropriate precautions. If you're the type of person that needs to walk a straight line and speak to your consultant, please do so. I encourage you to do that. I happen to be a rebel. Always have been nonconformist. So for me, I'll try anything. So, first and foremost, let's say it's unraveling here. You want to go into the area where you feel comfortable and what you want to do is you want to begin to take and open up a larger space so you go in I want to be clear because this will be difficult to explain but essentially what you're doing is you are pulling the lock and you're widening the opening you're taking the needle which is a tool from Walmart, it's a plastic needle, four for a dollar. You go into the lock, you pull down. Okay, you continue to go into the lock and pull down. As you continue to go in and pull down, you're gonna have more of an opening, okay? But you'll notice that you're tightening on the up end and you're tightening on the bottom end. Once you get to the point to where you wanna actually stop. For now, I'm gonna, I, I tightened up the top end some but I really needed to open up more. I wanted to open up more for demonstration purposes, but now you see this, this would be considered a hole. If your loctician leaves this, or she leaves this um, to unravel, and your locks begin to mature, or they begin to you know, evolve, to me it's gonna lead to a sloppy looking lock. You're gonna have more frizz. You're gonna have more room for this hole to turn into a big fat uh, matted mess. I, for one, like to still be able to see my pattern in my locks, and it's been seven years, folks, where I like to see some neatness. I don't like to see stuff that looks like this. So I'm going to repair this lock in my next video. You'll see how I take it out and how I fix it. Anyway, see how we have this going here? I have a little opening, right? Now we're going to use the latch tool to go in here and fix this. This is going to be trying because it's very thin. You know what the latch tool, you're going to go into the open space, okay? Once you determine that you're actually in, this is what happens when you're 47 and you need glasses. <laughs> Can't even get inside of there for demonstration purposes. Okay, you see I'm in. Okay, I'm in, right? All right, you already know how to use a latch tool if you watch my other video, even if you didn't. Make sure you get some hair under the latch, the top part of where you are inside the hole should be under the latch. Then you latch this, okay? You must close this first so that when you slide the hair through, it goes through seamlessly. You continue that process until you close the hole. 
you do not want to close the hole very, very tight because if you do, then the hair won't have space to expand and then it's going to start, especially if your locks are not mature, it's going to start stretching and popping out in other areas. So you will learn what your hair can take. The next time you go in, try to go in in a slightly, slightly different area, but within that same hole. When your hair is thicker, it'll be a lot easier, but my hair is very thin down here, okay? So you see I'm in there so far. Getting ready to close this over it. And now I'm just going to slide it through, okay? You keep doing this. Now, if you're further up here, you could use this tool and it would be even easier than a latch hook. If your hair is thicker and you're higher up, it's going to be easier with the latch tool or you, you may find either tool to be okay. If you take this same tool and you cut it here and you file it so that it's shorter, you can then use it further down towards the bottom of your lock, okay? See, it's very easy. And you're gonna continue this process until you're satisfied. Now you know all your babies, you know what they look like, right? So keep an eye on this lock. After about a month, it takes about a month to six weeks, go in and observe it again. You may need to close it up one more time. It just depends on how it's maturing and how the hair is forming, okay? But you see how it's very easy, okay? I wanna go in one more time and I wanna get and a slightly different aspect of it. So I'm going to use this to kind of find a new space. Uh, it's a little uneven, but I'm going to go in at about here, I think. Yeah, I like that area. Okay. I happen to be someone who is very particular about how their locks look. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, I had to go through the teenage stage like everybody did, but I was not, I was rebelling against the teenage stage and I wasn't going to look so crazy. I think it had a lot to do with the texture of my hair, guys. The texture of my hair was, I don't know, my, my locks did some unbelievable things and they still do even at this point in my journey. You see that? It's much better. Oh, that's my phone, guys. Give me just a second. Hey baby. hey baby I'm good sweetie how are you oh yeah honey please cuz you know that's a lot of food I, I... all those uh those greens those collard greens and stuff perfect one to do okay I just saw a lot out there and I wasn't sure and I don't want it to go bad. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's right because you cooked a lot that day. Yeah, the oysters, baby. I can I can fry those this weekend or, or whatever. We can make some soup. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't want that stuff to pile up, and I saw that cheesecake out there too, honey. Uh uh. Baby, you doing okay though? Otherwise, I didn't want to interrupt your day. I was just. I know, honey, it's, it's kind of chilly. Uh, I've been up for a minute, baby. I actually have made a, a few videos this morning already, and I'm making one now, actually, while I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got up pretty early, because I have a, 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 a growth track strategy call today for 90 minutes. Uh-huh, so I have to get ready. 
Mhm. Did he leave a message at least? Goodness, is he normally that um out of pocket? having a hard time I don't that's what she gave me baby and I, I mean that's all I can say that's the number Aisha gave me and she knows him pretty well I think her he and uh, Rashid are, are fairly close okay baby sweetie okay I love you I gotta go I'm on video baby okay bye 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 Okay, now, say you get tired of using this tool. Still got my little hole. Okay, I got this long needle. To improvise, people problem solving. So I'm gonna go all the way in like this. Then I'm gonna thread this. Uh oh, I'm gonna go all the way in, okay? Then I'm gonna just wait till I get to the end. Nice little place to pull. You know, this is if I didn't file, you know, piss poor plan and produces piss poor performance. So I'm still good, right? You see that? Now I'm just going to just pull this through. Okay, it still won't work. Even though I didn't file the needle, it's just a little more tedious. Sometimes, depending upon where you are in the lock, you may find that this may be a better tool for you. Okay? So I, I hope that you're able to get the gist of this. And just to kind of have an idea of, of how to maybe deal with a potential problem. Now, over the course of a couple months, this may still expand. Hair is still locking, okay? All the way from up here, that stuff is doing this thing here. So you may go back in a month or so, or, or three or four months, and you may still want to tighten this up. You may want to tighten it up if it expands on you. So these are some of the things that I do. But the matted look that I was telling you about, when ends unravel and your, your loctician doesn't do anything about it, and it starts to look like this. And some people say this is a lock, and that's why they, they got these things. And that's beautiful if you like yours to look like this. But I don't like mine to all look like this. I know how I got this. And I have a few that have nice uneven pieces on them like this. You can see I plaited this because I'm working on this one. I'm waiting for this to lock up and then I'm going to do something with it. But this I had to go into because I had a fat ball right here. And although I can feel it, it's still not as bad as it could be. You see this? I don't like this type of thing. This is me. Y'all call me OCD, but y'all know I'm the Lent Queen. And I'm OCD about a lot of things, so you're not surprised. Anyway, lots of love to you ladies. Hopefully you benefited from this. And you will be able to use the latch hook tool. And maybe use this in combination to have your needs met. Have a beautiful, lovely, lovely day. Go out into the world. Manifest. Life is good. Life is beautiful.